Good morning and welcome back. I'm out here at COSI and joined with Alyssa. And what do we have going on over here? Yeah, Liz, well, it's the holiday season, so I thought, let's make some holiday lava lamps today. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, and you don't need a whole lot of, of materials to do this. You can find most of this around your house. Might have to buy one or two things. What we're gonna use today is baby oil. You can always use vegetable oil, but baby oil is clear, so I wanted to use that. In this case, just some food coloring, some water, and Alka-Seltzer. And then other things that you can have at home if you want. I thought it'd be fun to add glitter for the holidays. I like that, especially around the holidays. We seem to have a whole bunch of different sequins and glitter kind yeah. of floating around. Exactly. So we each have a water bottle. Now, if you're doing this at home, you can use really a cup, something you can see through. I like water bottles because you can put a cap on it and keep it. Oh, perfect. So first we're just gonna fill this up with a little bit of oil. Like I said, this is baby oil. You can use mineral oil, vegetable oil. Really, almost any kind of oil will work. That's fun. And it may be fun to even figure out if it reacts differently to the different oils, too. Exactly. I'll let you go. Awesome. Can we see about a third of the way? Is that about how much you put in yeah, there? Yeah, you can really do as much as you want. Halfway, third of the way. Just okay. wanted to make sure you had enough. Then we're going to add some water to it. I feel like this is almost the tricky part, just making sure you don't spill it all over. Yep, definitely. Oh, this is not too you messy. can use a funnel if you have one at home. Now, this is really easy to see with vegetable oil, but right now you can sort of see there's water in the bottom, and then our mineral oil, baby oil at the top. <laughs> Perfect, you can watch it literally changing places yeah. too. Yeah, our mineral oil is less dense, so it's floating on top. And now we can add our food coloring. I'm gonna go blue for a winter wonderland here. I didn't grab the red one. How many drops did you add? Does it matter? Uh, it does not matter. I added four or five, I think. So you can either leave it there, swirl it around a little bit. <laughs> I like that it balls up a little bit too. It in does. There. Here. Nice. Ooh. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of red glitter. And maybe some stars just for fun. Ooh, I can follow your lead with the red glitter. Keep it more monochromatic. Ooh. That's very cool looking. Oh wow, there's so much happening with this. There is, yeah, the food colorings, coloring is starting to uh, mix into the water. My glitter is starting to fall down, yours is too. And it's so fun to watch it separate. You can really tell that the water sunk down to the bottom once it's a different color. Yeah, your stars are in the middle. Mine have floated on top. <laughs> so now for the fun part, you can break these up, put as much in as you want. I think it's kind of fun just to throw most of it in. Oh, wow. And watch your lava lamp go. That's amazing. Yeah, so right now when you put the Alka-Seltzer tablet in, it can be generic, does not have to be store brand. We see a reaction happening where carbon dioxide bubbles are coming to the surface. They are trapping some of our colored water. When the bubbles make it to the surface, the gas dissolves and the bubbles fall back down. That's so cool. And I like that you pointed out, if you use something like a water bottle, you can just put a lid on it and keep the experiment going. Yeah, you don't want to have a lid on it while there's Alka-Seltzer in there because you're going to form too much pressure in your bottle. But as soon as it's done, lid can go back on and save it for another day. That's so fun. And I will admit, this is one that I've done with my nieces before. And since they weren't quite familiar with the concept of a yes. lava lamp, we just called it bubbles in a bottle. So It is bubbles in a bottle. <laughs> you know what? It's great for any age. Oh, and so festive and fun. Well, and if people want to come out to COSI, I know holidays around the corner yes. and breaks. Where can people figure out when you guys are actually open? Yeah, we are open for extended hours after Christmas. So COSI.org is where you can find anything and everything about our hours and anything else you want to know. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alyssa. Thanks, and again, Liz. Check out COSI.org to look at their new exhibits and what days and times they're open, especially as we approach the holiday season. And if you want to look at the instructions for how to do this fun experiment again, you can log on to our website, nbcpri.com. So thanks, Alyssa. Thanks, Liz. Yay.